I'm Kevin Elizabeth, a wedding photographer based in San Diego, and today I'm going to be talking about how to really take a ring selfie that's going to wow all of your friends and family. Now, if you do not know what a ring selfie is, that is usually the photo that a bride takes of her ring, either with her face in it or just her hand, to announce to everybody that they are engaged. Um, and one of the things that I want to say is that there is no wrong way to take a ring selfie, but if you want a ring selfie, Selfie that is going to be very different from your friends and a lot more polished from a photography standpoint, then this video is definitely for you. So the first thing I want to talk about is lighting. I think in the excitement of the engagement and the proposal, a lot of brides will take their photo immediately and then share it immediately. But a lot of the times that I see the engagement happen at night. So there's not great lighting that's being used for that ring selfie. Often people will use flash to compensate and I personally do not think that flash from my phone is ever going to be very flattering unless you get really crazy with it and do a lot of modifications to it. So with that said, if you can wait till the next morning to use some natural window light that's really soft, isn't harsh, so you don't wanna see harsh lines of light and shadow on your hand, so make it really nice and soft, kind of like this lighting I'm using right now. So your best bet is to go near a window or in open shade somewhere outside to take your ring selfie. The better lighting you have, the better your photo is going to look and that is just the rule for every photo no matter what it is of. So the second thing I want to mention is that um, I see a lot of people who will take their ring selfie and they'll do something like this, which is not a very natural hand position. So instead of doing this, where your fingers are all spread out, you could do something a lot more natural. So with the fingers kind of curled a little bit more, so that's more of a natural hand position, kind of like a ballerina hand. So this is not natural. So if you can find something to rest your hands on, whether it be on your shoulder or kind of playing with with your hair or on his uh, shoulder a little bit, that is gonna be a lot more natural looking and more elegant and feminine than just taking a picture of your hand like this because people don't often walk around like this. So try to mimic a natural hand position and it's gonna look a lot more effortless and it's not going to look so um, common like everybody else's because that is one thing I see a lot. Again, nothing wrong with that, but if you just wanna make this a little bit more elevated, then definitely try to loosen up your fingers and make it look more natural. Now the third is to make sure that while you don't have to have a professional manicure done that your nails are in decent shape. So if you have polish that is chipping off of your nails, be sure to remove it before you take your photo. Um, the better your nails and hands look, the better your photo is going to look. So if people look at the photo but then they see a bunch of chipped off black nail polish, that's really going to take away from the beauty of your ring, which is the thing that you're trying to show in order to announce your engagement. Now, the fourth is to make sure that your ring is clean. So I know you've just gotten it, but if you make sure that it's clean, it's sparkly, it's at its best, because maybe you've touched it, some lotion's gotten on it, whatever it may be, the cleaner your ring is, the more sparkly it is going to be in your photo and the better it will look. So that's something that is really important, and that's something to remember for your engagement photos as well as your wedding photos. Clean your ring right before it's ever gonna be professionally photographed, and it will shine and sparkle so much more than a dull, dirty diamond, which will make your ring look really, really unflattering. So make sure that your ring is always clean when it's gonna be photographed professionally or for your major announcement. So those are the top tips I have for how to have the best ring selfie. Throughout this video, I have put some different examples in there so that you can see some ideas that might inspire you. Um, but when you do post your ring selfie, be super excited about it. Um, if you really wanna get the most attention on it, post at a time when people are most likely to be online. So that's probably not going to be at midnight. So again, like waiting is sometimes the best thing if you want the most people to see it and to be excited about it. Um, so again, like be patient for it. If you get engaged at night, try to wait till the next day to take a nice photo if that's something that you care about. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to subscribe down below so you never miss a wedding planning tips video from me. And also leave a like to show your support and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!